Hey guys, welcome to part two of making a Joker mask. As you can see here, I'm using that tin foil that I used in the last video, and I'm elongating the sides of the mask. Uh, basically, what I'm doing is latex, a layer of cotton, another layer of latex, and another layer of cotton. Roughly three layers total, and also using a blow dryer in between to dry it up and make the process move a little bit faster. I'm also going to use the same technique and elongate the nose bridge area to make it a little bit more pointy and a little bit more longer. Okay guys, so here's the mask, and as you can see here, and as I told you, that the eye shape does change. I'm going to cut that out right now. Okay, next, my son wanted to help me, and right now what we're doing is we're building up cotton and latex on the chin area. I wanted the chin area to stick out more, um, make it more of a 3D look. And here's the finished look after we added the cotton to the chin. Now I'm just going to try the mask on real quick and see where it fits on my face and see where I have to build up more cotton to make it stick out. This way I can move my chin up and down. Okay, now I'm moving on to the detail. What I'm going to start doing is building up a cotton layer and a latex layer on the lips. I want to make the lips of the Joker's face and move up near his neck.
So this is what the end result should look like. Right now it looks a little strange, but as soon as you slap some paint on there, it will start to blend very well and bring the character to life. Okay, so starting with the base, I need the water activated water activated paint. I'm going all over the mask. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add detail next with black and so on and so forth. Okay, and then I'm gonna have to actually make a part three to the making of the Joker mask because I'm running out of room here. 